guys, Camper Rusher here. Welcome to the results, the award ceremony, I will say. And it's going to be a very pleasant day, pleasant video talking and rewarding the people who are the winners of this season of factions here on Chrome. But first, we are about to show you and announce the winner of F Top. There's been a huge debate going through. I uploaded episode 850 part 2 yesterday, which was another huge debate. Max Ernst versus Q Hussey. Who is telling the truth? Who is lying? And whichever one is telling the truth, that team is going to win F Top because you guys know what that went down. A $300 million bedrock vault was raided. And if you check F Top, the split between first and second right now is like $200 million. So this bedrock vault uh, TP glitch or raid, whatever it is, is what matters most and what dictates who the F top winner is. So I got Curtis and Wild here in the call. How you boys doing? Hello. 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 Go, uh, good, Curtis. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have found out who is lying and who is telling the truth. We have. We we've gotten down to it. I was thinking right after the video. We, I've been reading all your comments, and uh, lots of you are very correct. I should say, and uh, heavily. You got yeah. Lots of you are on the correct side. I will say. So what we have done, because both Max Ernst and Q Hussey debated two things. One was Max Ernst TP glitching in or not. That was the obvious debate. But the other part was Max Ernst said. That when he was TP'd into that bedrock vault the first time, it was basically empty. There was nothing in it of value. There was no point of TPing people in. Because, obviously, once Max Ernst got his home in there, he didn't TP the temper guys in until nine hours later. So, what he said, and the reason for that, he's like, because it was empty when I first got in there. There was no point. Zamosa and Q Hussey argued that that bedrock vault has been filled, has been rich for two weeks. So we got to the bottom of this. I talked to Curtis. I'm like, Kurt, what are the odds you can get me a backup of the faction's Chrome World from April 8th, which would be about 12 hours before um, our friend Max Ernst was TP'd into the vault, and then we can check if the vault was empty or if it was full. And we will find out who is the liar. So, Curtis, this is... Do you have an exact time, or it's, uh, it's sometime um, April 8th? It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but April give 8th? Give me a second. All right, all right. Um, April 8th, uh, 12 a.m. 12 a.m. Eastern. Yeah. Okay, so this was probably 36 hours before. So it doesn't really matter because Zamosa and Q Hussey said that this thing has been filled for two or three weeks, like something like that. And we're going only 36 hours before. So, you know, within that two or three weeks, we'll find out if it's actually full. And basically how we're going to do it is if one of them lied about this thing, then they're lying about the other. So here's what we are going to do. Right now, if we go to Holmes, Max Ernst, slash E, his home is still up here because this is 36 hours before he was actually TP'd. So this is where his home was at first. This is what he was talking about. And I think it's like, it's within like 100 blocks, somewhere over Wild found it. It's like 100 blocks. It's directly under their base. Uh, he's at the Empire base. So he was telling the truth about that. And then we go underneath the base and we find the area that he was talking about. I think it's right. Yeah, it's right here. So this is the area. Right here is the Obsidian, etc. Their base is right up there. But just to make it easier, what we are going to do, we are going to go into the Bedrock Vault that is of question right now. So we are going to go to Holmes, Q Hussey, Brock. And that is going to take us directly into the Bedrock Vault. So this is the Bedrock Vault. This is the thing that was raided, and it, we, we'd, uh, we'd broken out a little bit and kind of checked it out and made sure it was the right place. I've already compared it to the Archon. It is the exact same place except 36 hours before it was raided. So here it is. If it's empty, then Max Hearns was telling the truth, and Temper is our winners. If it is full, then Q Hussey and Zamosa were telling the truth, and Empire are the winners. So, you guys ready to reveal it? We kind of already know. We've already checked it out, to be honest. But... Still, big deal. Let's see it. All right. Three, two, one. Ooh, cow spawner. Six of them. Hmm. That doesn't look like 300 million. Nothing in there. Ooh, a supervisor set. Okay. And do we have anything else, boys? That's about it. That's about it. So. Fences are empty. I don't know about you, but the things I am seeing in here, I would consider <laughs> empty. 
Because what? Cow spawners tack up to, like, the, you know, one of the cheapest spawners in the game. They don't help F-Top too much. And this supervisor gear maybe gives you, like, a bonus 10k. So, at most, there's, like, $200,000. $100,000 F-Top value. Not anywhere near a hundred million dollars, three hundred million dollars, whatever was actually taken from here 36 hours later. So, based on this evidence, and based on the comments from last video, which mostly said that Q Hussey's story didn't add up with the, like, why would you TP someone in to the TP glitch layer when he's already in the TP glitch layer? And how would Max Ern's TP glitch a base in a minute and a half while Q Hussey was still right there. It just didn't make sense. And lots of you pointed that out in the comments, and now we have concrete proof. Both of them made explicit arguments. One said this thing was full 36 hours or two weeks before, and one said it was empty. Well, Max Ernst is correct. It was empty, and they must have restocked it. And here is one of the opinions, by the way, from the commenters. One of you guys said that... What is happening here is Q Hussey is just trying to cover his own butt. Zamosa may not have even been lying. He might have actually believed Q Hussey. But Q Hussey may have been trying to save his own butt. I'm not saying this. I'm just, this kind of makes sense. Where he accidentally or TP'd this guy in and then didn't tell his teammates. And then his teammates maybe loaded this thing up without telling Q Hussey. And by that time, Max Ernst had already betrayed and incited. A possible scenario, maybe. I'm not saying that's actually what happened. Just one of the comments that got a bunch of thumbs up. And there it is. Curtis Wild. anything else to say? I think we've got it. Temper is the winner of F Top. And we finally got the proof. And honestly, thank God. Because this was starting to stress me out. Holy God. I, I don't know if I... <laughs> like, there was a lot of you saying temper. But, like, still, there wasn't hard evidence. But this is it. This is hard evidence that Zamosa and Q Hussey, they said that this thing has been full for the past two and a half weeks. That is a lie. And we have just checked out the backup world and proved it. So there it is. Congratulations to Temper, our winners of this season of Factions Chrome. What a crazy, chaotic way to end it. And holy God, I, I'm sweaty after that one. Leave your comments down below with your feedback on the situation, how you feel about it. But in my opinion, this is pretty clear evidence, and uh, we finally got into the bottom of this. All right, happier things. We're going to move over to the award ceremony. We're going to talk about all the winners. We're actually going to get a few of them in the call, congratulate them, and see who are the winners of Factions Chrome this season. So GG to Temper, and... What a debate. What a god dang stressful debate. But uh, always fun. It's always fun. Congrats to Tepper. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official Factions Chrome Awards ceremony. Now, first off, the amount of people who won that I actually got here today is very minuscule, as you can see. This is because there is, there's basically no one on Factions Chrome right now, right now, and I don't have any way to contact them because they're all waiting for the the reset, of course, for Factions Chrome. So I do got three uh, three awesome guys here who, who made sure to come in and just uh, hear how they're feeling, etc. So I'm going to tell you all the winners. We're going to go around, and obviously we we've declared F top winner has been Temper with the recent proof that we've seen. Thank you to that backup, that world backup. But let's start off here with MC Top. MC MMO Top. We got Gre Get Frame Sun in third place, who wasn't able to make it. We got Zuki PvP, Wild's favorite friend in second, and X Clicker is in first place. Now you guys actually came very close, eh? You had uh you were within a thousand points there. Zuki just went hard at the end. X Clicker, were you getting a little nervous? Oh yeah, dude. He he came from nowhere, like, he was at, like, 4K one day, and all of a sudden he jumped up to, like, 8K, and we've yeah. been battling out this last week. Yeah, so did you go hard this last week, too, Clicker, to maintain that first spot? Oh, yeah, dude, I was on a lot, <laughs> making sure he wasn't, uh, like, catching up and stuff. And what did you focus on, I guess, near the end, mainly? Uh, what was the quickest at the end? Mainly acrobatics. Acrobatics? Yeah, all right. And, uh, and Zuki, what did you use to, to catch up so quickly? What were your two main ones? Because you jumped really high, really fast. So you must have well, found one of them worked well for you. I did, like, axes a bit and, like, wood cutting and excavation repair mostly. 
What? Okay, so you didn't do a lot of acrobatics. You were stuck. Oh, up... yeah, I did a bit of that. Oh, you did? Well, I, okay, yeah. I guess you got to do a bit of everything with the, you know, to be plus 10,000, both of you. Well, either way, congratulations. $250 Archon voucher to you, Clicker. 150 to you, Zuki. And your third place, Get Frame Son. $75 to him. So, uh, yeah, uh, excited for you, Jet. You guys thinking of coming back next season? Try and win it again? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at you boys go. going. Okay, okay. Well, I can't wait to see you. Thanks for playing on the Archon, and uh, thanks for coming on, dude. Congratulations, boys. Next, we will look at the dual top winners. The people who threw the duels plug-in on the Archon Factions Chrome had the highest ELO. And starting out, we got third place, a member from our team, Snowy. You guys know a very good PvP or Snowy. Second place, we got Sven Matz. And in first place, the man, the myth, the legend, 10 CPS. Congratulations. I got 10 CPS on the line right now, and uh, he doesn't have a microphone, but he can hear me and he'll reply with messages. 10 CPS, how long have you been, been in first place? Was it recent, or have you been holding it down basically all season? The whole map, 10 CPS says. Okay, and, and do you like, okay, so say you play 10 games. Out of those 10 games, how many are you going to win? How many are you going to lose? I lost 16 the whole season out of about 200. Wow, man. So you, out of 10 games, you lose less than one game every 10. So GG on that. So that's how good you got to be to win the dual top right there. I lost 16 the whole season out of about 200. Nice. And who was your main competitor? Did someone kill you a couple times or... Or was it just 16 random people that, that unluckily got you, or what? Rain Dynasty, but then he was banned for boosting. Okay, 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 so no competition after that. All right, well, there it is, 10 CPS. Thank you for thank you for letting me know there, buddy, and uh, thanks for playing on the Archon. Do you plan on coming back to, to kick butts of next season as well? Of course. All right, that's what I like to hear, man. Well, 10 CPS, thanks a lot, dude. I won't take up any more of your time, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, man. Later. Next up, we will go to the BAL top winners, and yes, no one else to talk to here, but I will just let you guys know who are the winners, and that'll be today's video, and obviously finding out the F top, that final proof, or proof, proof, proof. Uh, we got Quemzy in first, George in second, and Ethan plays MC in third place. Slash BAL top, you can see their final balances, 223,138,070,000,000. and 70 million. These guys went insanely crazy. Congratulations to them. Absolutely crazy. Uh, very, very cool. All right, moving on to LB Top. So LB Top is basically the death ban per minute played. So we're going to look at it right now. Slash LB. We've got Ritz Crackers in first. We've got Fall Down PvP in second and Purge OG in fourth. But technically third because I'm in third right now. And that's just because I have the owner rank and I don't technically get death ban, but obviously I've died like six times this season. So Purge OG is the rightful um, third place. And there it is. Like Ritz Crackers played four days, nine hours, and didn't get death banned a single time. Do you mind? That's a lot of time to play. <laughs> that is that is double the amount of time I played this season. And I am on here literally each and every day. This is my own server. I'm the owner. And this guy doubled my playtime and didn't get a death ban. So GG to him. GG to all of them. Congratulations on your prizes, gentlemen. And uh, you'll be seeing them shortly. Moving on to Vote Top. Slash Vote Top. Uh, basically what Vote Top is is just you can slash vote for the Archon on different servers with one of these links. And uh, you get little rewards for it, etc. And this prize isn't as high. I don't think the, the money's as high. I think it's 150 for first place. But still a good reward. And we've got Lightastic in third. Zaletri in second. And Kenzie Games 19 in first place. Thank you for voting for the Archon. Thank you for supporting the Archon. And congrats on your win. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Alright, moving on. That's everyone. That is all of the five winning things and oh my god they're starting to fight each other i'm losing control of my area but last thing we will look at obviously f top winners i meant to put winner there everything i do dude so unprofessional <laughs> the winner of f top this season the first season of factions chrome with a total of 1.4 billion dollars goes to temper Congratulations to Temper. That is, uh, you know, technically my allyship. So we were able to just pull it off. 
I mean, obviously with the combination of our whole allyship, it was not just Nameless that won. It was our team that won this season. And it ended up being, now that all that drama is gone, it was because 420 incited the enemy and ended up joining up with us so that they could get some of the rewards. So who would have thought after all this, after raiding 420, after doing this, 420 is the reason that we won this season of factions. It took a lot of debate, took a lot of proof, took a lot of stuff, but that is everything. So with that being said, that is Factions Chrome. That is officially the end of this season. Thank you for being a part of it with me. Thank you for watching the videos, liking, commenting, sharing it with your friends, joining the rushers by subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Next season's going to be a little bit di well, it's going to be a lot different. We got a lot of new things coming and Factions Chrome, we will be on here. This will be our main server. Same thing with the leaderboards, etc. Obviously some big updates coming and then uh, we'll also be in some other places as well, including Sapphire and one that I haven't announced to you just yet, but something's coming this weekend, this Friday. We got a big, big thing coming for you, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you're ready. Next season's going to be epic. Thanks for continuing along this journey with me. You guys are awesome. I love you. Hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you Thursday for the first episode of the new faction season. Until then, talk to you later. Goodbye.